Uh, okay, so the next step here is to create a product. So this is the first step of, of the case. So, so now that we have set up the database and uh, we configure our company as well. And so now this is the scenario that Mark, our purchase manager has approached, uh, you know, me, I am the CEO, he has approached me. Hi, we visited Wood Corner, a new vendor that supplies office furniture. Here is a photo of their large desk that we like. So I'm asking him how much do they cost and Mark is telling me that they cost $140 each, but they discounted to, they are discounted to $100 if we order a minimum of 10 desks. So for the first nine, if we order up till nine, uh, they will cost us 140. But if we order 10 or more, they will cost us cost us $100 and uh, whatever our purchase price is we can sell them at 220 so I'm saying to mark sounds good I'll create the product in our catalog so let's you know take a picture of the desk I'm taking a screenshot again and I'll save it You know, so we can use it on a on a product. So I'll show you how we can use it on the product. So large desk PNG. I have saved it. So take this to full screen again, and let's go back to the database. Okay. So now let's open the products. Uh, you you can access the products from uh, from many locations. For example, you can go to inventory. You can see the products. You can also go to sales, and you can see the products, and you can go to the purchasing, and then there you can also see the products. So we'll go to the inventory, or, or you can just start typing here, and you will see the uh, products. Sorry, products. So here it is in the sales, uh, you know, application. It's sales menu. Then in the uh, accounting menu, then the purchasing menu, then in the inventory menu. So you can see uh, a product uh, is, you know, uh, listed in the menus on different places. So we'll go to the inventory products. I'll create a new product named as large desk. Large desk. Okay. And make sure, so, you know, since we want to uh, inventorize this product, Make sure the product type is storable. It should not be consumable or service. Uh, and in the in, invoicing policy should be based on delivered quantities because we only want to invoice. We discussed this earlier as well. We only want to invoice that we have actually delivered to the customer. Okay. And uh, Oro also tells you here in this little message, invoice after delivery based on quantities delivered and not ordered. So the sale price was 220. We'll be using PKR instead of uh, uh, the US dollars. So I think let's go with the with the taxes as uh, the de as default they are. And uh, Oro also shows you the tax inclusive price. So 220 into 1.17 will be 257.4. So let's go back and have a look. So the actual cost is 140, and the discounted price is 100 dollars. Okay, so the cost is 140. So product category. Uh, so I think let's put it in the sale level category. So you know you you have to know that the accounting of the product it comes from the category unless it is specifically defined on the uh, on the on the product itself. Uh, otherwise, it will come from the product category. But in our case. Uh, let's have a look whether our costing method is configured or not okay so it is not set to automatic inventory valuation and I think uh, we'll discuss that uh, in, in another tutorial when we are working uh, you know uh, discussing inventory management so let it stay like that so we can uh, put a code for our product let's say I put triple zero one and put it in the brackets so I do not want any barcodes I don't want to configure the tags so nothing 
you know in the sales and I think in the purchase yeah here here we want to you know you you, you can see the control policy uh, based on received quantities so we, we will only be paying for the products that we actually received in the inventory not uh, that are billed to us or not that we you know mention on the purchase order and the vendor uh, we want to purchase this from wood corner so a very good thing about Odoo is its flexibility uh, you, you can create the vendor right here or you, you can go to the contacts application and you can create a vendor there and then pick it here so we will use it here I'll create the vendor and wood corner so let's go to the case study I wanna you know put the logo here it is so let's copy this and here okay till here and this one so I think this is the zip code and state USA the country United States mm -hmm. And the state was AZ, Arizona. Okay, and zip code we just copied. And the city, I think, let's skip this. And okay, I'll just put, you know, uh, an email address, a personal address here. Okay, and we want to tag this vendor as uh, furniture supplier so we'll create a tag so we know uh, you know maybe let's go with the fixed assets so this is a fixed asset supplier you you can create any type of tags you want so I'll create this and we also want the logo of this so this isn't necessary I'm just you know telling you so you know you can what what are the functionalities that are available in Odoo? So let's go back and wood corner. So okay, so here we were. I'll go back and put the logo. Okay, so now it looks good and save. So for uh, you you can click this toggle button to to enable and disable different fields uh, on on this uh, this line level so I'll open discount and quantity okay so at a quantity of uh, at the quantity till at the quantity of one the price is 140 and at the quantity price and the quantity of 10 the price was 100 and let's go with the same delivery days for both so this is very important because uh, the applicable price for the quantity of 10 will be 100 uh, because uh, from uh, you know for, for the same product because we've already had a contract or, or a quotation from the supplier uh, that if we buy only one unit we'll get this price and if we buy more units more than 10 then we'll get this price so lastly I'll add the picture of the product so here it is and I will save it so this is about the product so what we have done in this tutorial is uh, we have uh, you know learned how to create a new vendor uh, we have also learned how to create a new product we have also seen how to, uh, you know, uh, control the policy for invoicing as well as for purchasing based on delivered and received quantities respectively and how to put uh, preferences for the uh, product prices uh, based on uh, minimum uh, quantities that we order from a supplier, uh, which in this case would be uh, one at uh, 140 at the quantity of one and 100 
uh, rupees at the quantity of minimum 10. So I'll go to the inventory tab and there is you know we, we, we will discuss routes in the uh, inventory tutorials in the accounting we, we for now so let's put purchase here so when we purchase this product uh, and when we enter bills it will go here and in in the income account let's put the sales so this is also important and uh, we, we you can also set up these accounts on the category sales and purchases so if we have nothing we if we don't use anything here the income and expense accounts will default from this category so the Odo you know uh, takes the preferences uh, so the Odo uh, you know prioritize the accounts mentioned specifically on the product and in the absence of these products Odo will default the products from the uh, from the category okay so this is it about uh, the product and the vendor and let's go to our next step in the video okay so this is good so far and this is the solution on the back side of the card if you have a printed copy so let's check and our product name was large desk we correctly uh, choose the product type as storable product we put the sales prices to 20 and the cost as 140 220 and 140 this is good and any cost between 100 and 140 is considered as correct because the accounting valuation will depend on future purchases okay for the quantity at 10 the price was 100 and the quantity at 1 the price was 140 if you don't record a vendor, Odo automatically creates it upon the first purchase order. So anyway, we have already uh, created the vendor. So our solution is correct so far and we get one point for the... So we get actually two points for this because we have uh, correctly configured everything.